Cats are often known for their mysterious and quirky behaviors. But did you know that we humans can actually learn more from cats than we may think? Recent trends among humans about dieting, meditating and being in balance are things cats master. Speaking about a cat's diet, for example, what do you think you, as a human being, can learn from it? Let us know your first thoughts in the comments down below. We will answer this question later within the video. But first, more about cat's sleeping and napping behavior and how we can benefit from it. Number 7. Cats and their sleep. Cats typically sleep for around 16 hours a day, which is more than any other animal. They also prefer to sleep indoors in a comfortable and safe place. And finally, cats love to take naps throughout the day. All of this means that cats know how important it is to get a good amount of rest. Just like humans, cats need sleep to recharge and stay healthy. So if you're feeling exhausted, take a cue from your feline friend and take a nap. And if you still doubt the importance of a good night of sleep, <laughs> maybe sleep on it. Number 6. Cats and our sense of balance. There's no denying that cats are graceful creatures. They always land on their feet, regardless of how high they've fallen, and they always seem to know exactly where they're going. Cats also have an incredible sense of balance, which is something we humans could definitely learn from. If you watch a cat walk, you'll notice that they always keep their body in alignment with their head and tail. This helps them to maintain their balance and prevents them from toppling over. Humans, on the other hand, often have poor posture and tend to slouch or hunch over when we walk. This can lead to back pain and other problems down the road. Cats also have an amazing ability to adjust their body in mid-air to land perfectly on their feet. This is because they have a flexible spine and can rotate their hind legs up to 180 degrees. Humans, on the other hand, are much more rigid and aren't able to make these types of adjustments. That's why we often end up landing on our face or our behind when we jump or fall. So, next time you see your cat strutting around like they own the place, take a moment to appreciate all the things they can teach us about being human. Number 5. Cats have constantly growing claws. While cats might not be known for being particularly tidy creatures, they can teach us an important lesson about taking care of ourselves. Cats' claws grow continuously throughout their lives, and if they're not properly taken care of, they can become overgrown and start to curl back into the paw, which can be quite painful. This is why it's important to regularly trim your cat's nails and file them down to keep them at a healthy length. While we humans don't have to worry about our nails growing too long, thankfully, we do need to make sure that we're constantly taking care of our bodies and our health. Just like cats need regular nail trims, we need to stay on top of things like dental hygiene, exercise and getting enough sleep. We may not have claws that grow continuously, but there's always something we can be doing to take better care of ourselves. And that's something that cats can definitely teach us. Number 4. Cats are independent but social creatures. Though they may seem aloof, cats are actually quite social creatures. They just express their affection differently than dogs and humans do. For example, cats rub up against people and objects to mark their territory and show they care. And though they may not always meow when you enter the room, that doesn't mean they don't notice you. In fact, cats are very attuned to their humans' moods and will often mirror our emotions. But while cats are social creatures, they also value their independence. This is something we can all learn from. Cats aren't afraid to be alone and in fact often enjoy it. This doesn't mean they don't need our companionship, they do but it does mean they're not as clingy as some other animals. We can all benefit from taking a lesson from our feline friends and learning to appreciate and even enjoy our own company from time to time. Number 3. Cats communicate using facial expressions and body language. Most people are familiar with the basic cat facial expressions and body language cues. Cats communicate using a combination of vocalizations, scent, body language and facial expressions. Understanding these cues can help you better communicate with your own cat as well as interpret the behavior of cats you encounter. 
cats use a variety of vocalizations to communicate, from gentle purring to ear-piercing screams. While meowing is one of the most common ways cats communicate with their humans, they also use other sounds like chirping, clicking, hissing and growling to get our attention or convey their mood. Scent is another important way that cats communicate. They have glands in their faces and paws that release scent when they rub against something. This helps them mark their territory and leave messages for other cats. Cat urine also contains information about the individual cat, including gender, health status and social status. Body language is another key way that cats communicate. Cats use a combination of postures and gestures to convey their feelings and intentions. For example, a cat that stands tall with its tail up is feeling confident and assertive. A cat that crouches low to the ground with its tail tucked under is feeling scared or threatened. Paying attention to the whole picture, not just individual body parts, can help you understand what your cat is trying to say. While we as human beings are obviously different in the way of communicating from cats, we do also use facial expressions, vocalization and body language to get across our message. But sometimes we do not pay attention to the bigger picture. While listening to someone, it is important to also notice someone's facial expressions, body language and tone of voice. If you are aware of how to interpret cat or human communication, you can use that as a superpower to get along with cats or humans even better. Number 2. Cats are flexible in both body and mind. Cats have long, flexible bodies that can flatten themselves against curved surfaces. This is an adaptation that allows them to hide in small spaces and move through tight places. As a result, cats are able to negotiate their environment in a way that humans cannot. So cats definitely have an advantage when it comes to small spaces. This flexibility is due to the fact that their skeletons are not rigidly attached to their muscles as ours are. Instead, their bones are connected to their muscles by connective tissue, which allows for a greater range of motion. While we may not be able to physically match the feats of our feline friends, there are certainly lessons to be learned from them about being flexible in both body and mind. When faced with a challenging situation, try to think like a cat and consider all of your options before making a decision. Number 1. We all eat animals, even if it's just bugs and worms. As promised, the answer to the question how we can learn from cats in terms of our diet. First of all, cats are obligate carnivores, which means that their bodies are designed to digest and use only animal-based proteins. This is why a cat's diet must be mostly meat. Anything else just isn't nutritious enough for them. As humans, we are not obligate carnivores, but we do share a similar digestive system with cats. This means that we can actually benefit from following a more cat-like diet, one that is high in protein and low in carbohydrates. Of course, this doesn't mean that we should start eating living animals, but it does mean that we should focus on getting most of our calories from healthy sources of animal protein, such as chicken, fish, eggs and lean beef. In addition to their dietitian's advice, cats also teach us the importance of listening to our bodies. Cats will only eat when they're truly hungry. They're not going to force themselves to eat just because it's time for dinner. Similarly, we should pay attention to our own hunger cues and eat only when we're truly hungry. This will help us avoid overeating and maintain a healthy weight. So, there are similarities between humans and cats, and also a lot of differences. The same applies for the different genders for cats. Do you want to find out all the differences between male and female cats? Go ahead and click the video right here.